And this, uh, this is an incredibly, uh, incredible story. It's not the first time we've heard it either. A prominent activist and professor of African-American history at George Washington University has admitted she's been pretending to be a black woman. Jessica Krug, 38, wrote on the blog website Medium that her various identities have been built on toxic soil of lies and she is, in fact, a white Jewish woman from Kansas City. Isn't that where Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz is from? Toto! Toto! Yeah, that. (laughs) That's all I can do. She continued, I built my life on a violent anti-black lie. I've lied in every breath I've taken. I'm not a culture vulture. I'm a culture leech. Uh, Maurice McLeod is CEO of Race on the Agenda, a social policy think tank focusing on issues that affect BAME communities. Maurice, afternoon to you. Um, As a white bloke, and I'll fess up here, I'm not sure if this story... When I saw this, I don't know if it's horrifying or just f- hilarious. I, I can't work out which. Um, it, it, it did make me chuckle, as as did the Rachel Dolezal story. That was the you... other woman who did the same thing, right? But, but I guess the, the bit that's not funny um, is that um, there, there was a reason to her passing herself off as black, and it was because there are there are some funds and some you know she's an author that got paid to, to write um books about slavery and stuff like that i imagine that the, the the publisher thought oh great we've you know we're doing our bit for diversity by 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 um by hiring someone yep. who that experience when actually she was putting it on that that's what's a shame because she i guess robbed that opportunity from somebody else and you're right, you mentioned Rachel Dolza, the, the other woman who'd done this, but th- th- there is a kind of another curious, uh, Morris, quirk to this, and that is that, as I understand it, both of those people did actually do quite a lot of good in their own way, in, in terms of advancing, the, in this case, uh, African-American history, which she felt passionately was not given the prominence it should do, with the previous woman, Rachel, I think she'd done quite a lot of civil rights work as well. So, I mean, where do, I don't even know where to place this. Well, I mean, yeah, but there, I mean, that shouldn't really be a surprise. There, there are countless um, white people or people who aren't black who've, who've done great work True. towards anti-black racism. Tim Wise, Robin DiAngelo are, are, are current authors who have made good money and have written really important books about, about race, but from a white perspective, mm. she didn't have to pretend to be something she wasn't if she wanted to do the work that she's doing um but like i say it because there are so few places available for people of color to do that sort of work um it, it's a shame that that someone pretending to be that took took one of those one of those places that that's that's the shame I, yes it's funny but that's the bit that that's Ooh. not funny i think i mean is it kind of a, a sort of an extreme example the ultimate example of blacking up has it got some of that about it um I don't, I don't know. To be honest, blacking up, blacking up the whole thing of sort of painting your face black and pretending to be whoever and doing it. Yeah, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting it's quite the same thing, but I think in the case of Rachel yeah. Dolezal, I think she did tan her skin. She had her hair uh, done in a certain way that she thought was a black hairstyle rather than a white yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, she did. And, and so, yes, I can see, which is why I've got a bit of a smile on my face, because there, cause there is there is a, oh, my gosh, she went to that length to... to, to to pass herself off, but 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 passing herself off as, a, as another race is not anything new. It's just normally it's just historically yeah. been done the other way. That's where the advantage is, to be honest. That's true. I mean, the the Rachel Dozel story. I, I remember at the time. I can't remember how it came out that she was actually a white woman, but I remember her. Some somebody leaked a photograph of her as a kid. I mean, this woman is whiter than Casper Morris. I mean, man alive. I mean, she you couldn't get any more white, and yet she'd somehow managed to managed to fake it for lord knows how many years with the hair and the the skin tanning uh etc and, and th- now this woman uh similarly has now said though she's described her behavior as the very epitome of violence thievery and appropriation i mean is it violent uh that's those are her words and i'm not going to disagree with her i think um her her apology was really contrite and and and, and i appreciate that I, you know she should be Saying sorry for, for you know for for the, for the bits I've spoken about is it violence? It depends how you define violence. Um, it, it's certainly wrong. And by the way, with Rachel Dolezal, it was her parents who outed her. Yes, it was, wasn't it? It was a family. Yeah, I remember this. In terms of 
the wider question, because I'm sure you've heard this debate, you know, we talk a lot about uh, trans issues. And now many are saying you can be, you know, you, you could be, you could racially change as well as changing gender, you could change race. I mean, is there, again, I do not know where to go, go with this. Is that possible? I can't imagine me turning up in a pub pretending I was a black guy. That'd be weird. Um, you, can, you can try it, Ian. But um, that, no, that, you know, <laughs> um, that, there's never been anything wrong with um, enjoying other cultures and adopting and throwing yourself into them even. Um, it's when you go that extra step and pretend that that is your background that I think that that's yeah. the that's that's the, the problem. Um, yes, she can. Yeah, she can live her life, you know, with a I don't know an Afro hairstyle or whatever she wants to do. Um, she still has one. She's got the opportunity to take all that off, and you know, if the going gets rough, she doesn't have to keep being black, which is something that that I certainly don't have the opportunity to do if if I ever wanted to. Um, but too, she she didn't grow up with the um, the challenges that a, that a typical black person grew up. Yeah, with. So no, I, I think that's but that's spot on. That's the bit that I really can understand. Where I think, well, that that becomes quite curious, doesn't it? Because she she hasn't got a backstory here. Yeah, no, no, she she hasn't. And, and like I say, it's, uh, uh, yeah, I, I I would love to have been in her mind when she made the decision that, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to almost see how that unwound. And, and, and the fact that she was writing about this stuff, she really did know, you know, she wasn't, um, she wasn't ignorant to, to, to racial politics and dynamics. She, she knew a lot about it. She was writing about it. Yeah, yeah sure. So, um, yeah. Fascinating. I, I wonder if we're now going to be in that place uh, with the modern media and the kind of way it works, where we will see a you know a, a, perhaps a, a series of people outed for a, a similar. I don't know whether the word is crimes, but certainly high misdemeanors. Uh, Morris, it's always great to have you on, sir. Thank you, Morris McLeod, CEO of Race on the Agenda. I think it would be wicked. So transgender? Can you you can be transgender? Can you be trans race? Is that possible? That you could suddenly say I identify as and then pick another race. I don't know how you would do that in the world of obsessed identity politics. I don't think you could ever get away with that. I mean, somebody might be able to get away with it. Politic could they? If you were someone who was previously so well known uh, that your politics were were clearly not, um, you you didn't politically come from a place where you would be mocking or sending something up has anybody ever said i mean is that a thing trans race could you be that could you really be trans race is that possible that a white person could suddenly become a, a... no if any of my brothers uh, my mates are listening to this then you know we would appreciate your comments oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand uh, but there she was jessica krug uh, outed, living her life as a black woman. Unfortunately, she was a white girl from Kansas. Didn't work.